In this example, we will find a probability, the mean and standard deviation of a geometric distribution. The lifetime risk of developing pancreatic cancer is about 1 in 78, or approximately 1.28%. Let x equal the number of people you ask until one says he or she has pancreatic cancer. Then x is a discrete random variable with a geometric distribution, which we represent using this notation here where p is the probability of success, which in this case is the probability someone has pancreatic cancer, which is 1 78th. Q is equal to 1 minus p, with the probability of failure, which in this case is the probability someone does not have pancreatic cancer, which is 1 minus 1 78th, or 77 78ths. Number one, what is the probability that you ask 10 people before one says he or she has pancreatic cancer. This is equal to the probability x is equal to 10, which is equal to the probability of failure, where the probability someone doesn't have pancreatic cancer raised to the power of nine, because the first nine people don't have pancreatic cancer, and then times the probability of success, where the probability someone has pancreatic cancer, which is 1 78th. Looking at the formula on the right, notice k is equal to 10, which is why we have one minus p or q raised to the power of nine times p. And now let's go to the calculator and get a decimal approximation for this probability. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0114. I do want to mention, if we use the decimal for 1.28% or .0128, we would have more of an error when determining this probability. Part two, we're asked to find the mean as well as the standard deviation of x. The mean is equal to one divided by p, where p is a probability of success, which is equal to one divided by 1 78th. Remember, dividing by a fraction, is the equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. This is equal to one times 78 over one, or 78. The mean is equal to 78, which means we would expect to ask 78 people before someone said yes, they have pancreatic cancer. And then finally, we're asked to find the standard deviation. We can use either of these two formulas here. They are equivalent. I'm gonna use the second one. So we have the square root of in the numerator, we have one minus p, which is one minus one seventy-eighth. This is divided by p squared, which is one seventy-eighth squared. And now we'll go back to the calculator and enter this expression carefully. We have the square root. In the numerator, we have one minus one divided by seventy-eight. Close parenthesis for the numerator and then divided by, in the denominator, we have 1 78th squared. Right arrow. Notice how we have the numerator and denominator entered correctly under the square root. We press enter. To four decimal places, the standard deviation is approximately 77.4984. I hope you found this helpful.